they will follow the video. I'm muting you all. Okay, I require one notepad we can check. First, we go to the ECC system or CWM system and we get our inbound delivery first. Go to EWM. Not this, this one. <coughs> Go to EG axis of the EWM system, delivery processing, inbound road delivery, inbound road delivery notification. Ensure our, ensure our warehouse AAPL. Just execute it. Okay. Whatever it may be, we can take one. Come to ECC. VL thirty three N If we see here the ECC inbound delivery one eight double zero one zero eight seven is replicated as inbound delivery notification in EWM inbound delivery notification. Come to here. This is the inbound delivery notification with the two line items here replicated here if we see one area inbound delivery notification is suppressed and one is inbound delivery this inbound delivery is the next subsequent document of this inbound delivery notification and with the same number it is replicated it is replicated how it is replicated we know we have some several BAPI function models in our distribution model. Save one of the one of the BAPI function model is inbound save replica that is causing to replicate this inbound delivery with the same number. Now I am trying to change it. See here, even though I I clicked on the change button. <clears throat> I am not using to, I am not able to change anything here. See here, this is called as a form view, form view. Here, wherever you find out some, sorry, this is the, this is the form view, list view, this is the form view. This is the form view, header data. Here, we can find out some document number, document category, document type, ASN number, warehouse, GR office. What is this GR office? If you recap your previous sessions, what is this GR office? Somewhere we maintained this. Can anybody recap it? GR office. At the yeah, time of uh, creation, 
Yes, exactly. Again, as the supply chain unit, one of the business attribute we have given as a GR office. That is updating here. That is updating here. Okay. And who is created? When is created? Who is created? When is created? Here you can get the information. This is the header. Select the one of the line item. We are in list view. Click on the form view here. See here, product is here, quantity is here, and external product is here. Then again, my question product and external product. We have discussed this where we have discussed this where just recap your session product and external product. Why it is required? Only product is not uh, sufficient. Just to recap, sir. External product is uh, um, ECC material which is created in uh, uh, EW. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. Normal this is ECC number, right? Yes, exactly. Then why this product and external product both they have given? Say if we recap our business system group session, our EWM is capable to connect with more than one systems. Either these are the they, they are the SAP, ERP, or non-SAP, ERP, or whatever it may be. If my EWM is connected to various ERP systems, say unique product numbers are there in the both systems, that time it would require to activate one enhancement body. Okay, with that the product is uh, storing as a BSG business system group underscore some product number that is in EWM and that refer the external product from which system it is coming. Got it, sir? For that option, they have given two fields. One is product, another one is external product. One is product and external product. And now, come to here. One more question, sir. Here, owner and entitled to dispose both are same. What is this meaning? What is this meaning? Owner and party entitled to dispose both are same. What is this meaning? In which case both are different? In the consignment scenario, yes, exactly. In consignment scenario, consignment again is the consignment purchase order. If we do the inbound delivery, that can be update with this owner field update with consignment vendor. Okay, that one. Now scroll down item details. Item details here. The first tab is document flow. Okay, this one inbound delivery is created, the subsequent document is created. Now come to the reference documents. Reference document. Again, here one concept is their business system. What is this business system? This is also we discussed. What is this business system? This business system linked to our ERP systems. ERP systems from that the system can get the document information and to further processing role of the RSE role of the logical system is just pushing the document into the destination only but further processing can be happened with reference to this business system only with reference to business system only here two things are there one is business system and another one is business system group business system group is at high level but coming to the business system to process the documents normally we keep the business system and logical system name both are similar unique names okay and if we go to the partner number you can find out vendor here who is the vendor okay this thing now Come to the header here. Document category IDR document type is INB. Document category IDR and document type INB. What is meant by document category? 
we have seen these document categories in uh, ECC also. What are those? Okay. Say if we go with ECC, NB is a document type for PR and PO. Okay, but how the system can bifurcate document category F for the purchase order? Some uh, what is the P? P is for the uh, resignation, I think. Yeah, this one document P category. P. Yeah, yeah, this one document category and document type. Here also, all the documents are categorized. Say here a document category IDR. If we go to here, this IDR is representing inbound delivery notification. This document type. Within this category, this is the document type. Within this category, this is the document type. IDR and INB. IDR. <coughs> INB is the document type. Now come to item type. DLV, IDLV. Item categories. DLV, IDLV. DLV, IDLV. Now come to our ECC. Go to header administration. Delivery type EL. ECC. EL. Please mute yourself, sir. And come to item ELN item category ELN ELN. If we see our ECC EL plus ELN turning as a EWM system. IDR category INB plus DLV is the category IDLV. Our ECC EL plus ELN combination is becoming as a EWM, INB and IDLV where this setup is available. First go to EWM IMG setup SPRO IMG setup SEM extended warehouse management extended warehouse management interfaces ERP integration delivery processing delivery process next map document type from ERP system to EWM map document type go to here document type from ERP is EL okay please mute yourself please Okay, if we see here, EL is turning as a INB and middle one is code for initiate communicator. See, this code for initiate communicator means if you raise any document, initiate any document from EWM and this will be triggered from EWM and these things. Normally, this can use for some other documents like uh, expected goods received and this thing. The remaining are two. One is business system blank. EL is becoming INB. Another one is business system is each EH7 CLNT 800 EL INB. Okay. Normally, blank means for all. This condition also satisfy. This condition also satisfy in our case. So, with this setup, Again, as the business system, EL is becoming as a INB here. 
phi and b okay with reference to which object business system not logical system here business system this is one of the certification question here one of the certification question here again is which object we can map the erp documents to ewm documents question a business system group question b logical answers business system group logical system business system like they can give some answers this whatever the delivery wise integration everything with the reference to business system delivery type uh, the document type information whatever it may be business system by default okay this one this business system el is becoming el is becoming inb okay this thing now come to item type map yes please sir. sir one question sir here document type is uh, inb is standard or we can uh, make a duplicate and we can use that one yeah if you want you can use like a uh, inb yeah. is copied to some other uh, document yeah yeah yeah, can... yeah 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 now sir one minute yeah please there is a code uh, there is a field called code uh, code initiator code part? for initiator if any document say here what is the initiator in our uh, document flow where our document is initiated the initiator is uh, inbound delivery what, in which system is ecc system yeah like if we initiate any document system right yeah if we initiate any document from ewm and we use some code for initiators okay we use for code uh, we use for code initiator for communication that we can use code for initiator of a communication chain okay that one okay at this point of time uh, please leave alone when we discuss that expected expected goods shift you will get an idea okay this thing number uh, yeah please yes sir The, both the side communication ecc to ewm and ewm yeah ewm to ecc yeah later we discuss that okay yeah from say for example expected goods receipt is there that we initiate from ewm system okay yeah yes. yeah now map item types come to map item types now document type from erp what is our document type el el eln combination this is also against the business system wise idlv idlv okay el eln combination idlv this are this both are same in our case in our case why because we have only a single uh, business system only single business system okay this thing el eln is turning as a idlv here where this is mapping is under interfaces erp integration delivery processing within here we can maintain we can maintain okay this thing now come to the document again anything we can check here this is stock type uh, tomorrow we will discuss tomorrow our topic is stock management f1 tomorrow we will discuss now sir this uh, document uh, item categories are not in the uh, ecc sir we have also this one item right category, item category eln this one is item category right okay yeah item type item type is type na item category here in ecc this is calling as expressly inbound delivery item category okay if you want to go see here in ecc and yeah say for example if you want to go with your own uh, uh, delivery types and item types under the logistic execution under the logistic execution shipping deliveries defined delivery type here is there say say for example if you want to go with anything just copy this and you can maintain your required things and map in ewm system map in 
AWM system. Okay, this thing. Now this is the item. Uh, this is the delivery type. Coming to the item types. Define item categories for deliveries. Come to here. ELN is ours. ELN. Maybe sometimes requirement is there like in ECC if you want to go with your own uh, any other things you can maintain. See here this is the ELN. Here you can maintain this item to item category and map in EWM system. Okay, EWM system which we have seen. This is EWM systems. And for example, in EWM you want to maintain separate. For example according to your requirement this is the inbound process document types and item sets go to goods received to process inbound delivery manual settings define document types for inbound delivery process here you can come here and idr inb this one idr inb just copy into your own copy into your own document type and uh, of the document category and map with your integration part okay under goods received inbound delivery under goods received inbound delivery and if you observe here if we observe here idr inb we are not maintaining any number ranges here one sec yeah where yeah here only we are not maintaining any number ranges here why means the save replica is bringing the same number range the same number range so we are not maintaining any number ranges and apart from that here some profiles are there some profiles if you see the action profile status profile text profile field control profile partner profile date profile and so on what are those profile where we use this within the ewm okay almost all are the same come to our ewm document come to our ewm document see here say for example status here when it is created when it is a um, distributed delivery creation time and when the request is completed activated what is the version etc etc these are there these can be happen through this status profile this status profile where we can find out these status profiles go to spro mute yourself sir I'm not getting nice cross processing settings delivery and warehouse request come to here status management here cross processing settings delivery and warehouse request status profile status management come to here define status profile at document level this is the status profile go to position this one and every status is divided into two types one is profiles sorry every profile customer profile and system profile custom profile is customer profile we can able to modify it profile and add some additional setup in that but system profile we cannot but every custom profile should be assigned to system profile see here this is the status profile is status profile is nothing but this is the custom profile this is the system profile system profiles this this we cannot change or amend nothing this only we can change this status profile nothing but customer profile come to here status profile types this is associated with archiving block something are there okay this one some are uh, some are ticked with aggregated 
projections and etc etc if you want to populate status value and etc the same we can find out here same we can find out here okay this thing now coming to the partner so, uh, yes okay. please so, so this means that this status profile which is linked to a system profile so yeah. in a status profile if we are making some checks then it will come to inbound delivery for those yes. checks only yes exactly sir any example for this please can you give me Give uh, example nothing sir i did not uh, uh, i did not uh, see uh yes of now in my projects status profile especially oh so we just copy them i uh, yes, means yes. this is standard yes, standard right? only standard only yeah okay okay and this this status profile is linked to our uh inbound delivery yes, in all action yes, yes yes exactly exactly this one okay okay yeah hmm. say for example i am going with another profile partner profile here partner profile okay uh see here here this is the partner profile yeah ready sir so yeah. what is this profile means what, what is this process profile reference document what is this in in our uh, normal language what is this what, yeah what say is, for what example is yeah one thing one thing uh, okay in normal general example uh, keep aside sap and whatever it may be okay mm -hmm. say i booked one uh, uh, consignment uh, through flipkart or whatever it may be uh, uh, amazon or whatever it may be if i track within that uh, within the system or website with our uh, consignment number sometimes i can get one uh, status is departed another one is in uh, instant is third one is the uh, delivery by uh, left for the delivery etc statuses we can see see yes, yes, our yes. our term is a our uh, transaction is a document but it is updating with different different statuses one is in transit uh, departure for delivery arrived at uh, hub etc etc we can find out like in sap language also if any document is flown from one system to another system there should be some statuses okay when it is created what is it is created either it is in black status or else successfully processed or not etc to update all those statuses we are having this status profile against our inbound got it sir get okay. a notification say here reference document here one reference document it is showing as asn come to here go to our document type reference document yeah this is the reference document go to again cross processing settings reference documents one this is there define mm -hmm. Define reference document categories. Define document profiles. Go to here. Select our this thing. This is the customer profile and this is the system profile. This we cannot touch. Go to here. It is assigning with some reference reference document categories. Go to here. Here, this is their ASN bill of lading, ERO, ERP, and some are inactive here. Some are inactive. Okay. In our case, AN, ASN is only the active document. That's what we are getting. That's what we are getting ASN here. And the bill of lading mm -hmm. and ERP, ERO documents, this we are not using at this moment for inbound delivery notification okay this thing now these three we are not using here here asn is our reference document frd pro tcd these are inactive status now come to reference document categories where we maintain that go to here define reference document categories here say different different recommending document types or uh, document categories we can able to maintain apo apo transaction uid okay and uh, coming to here 
ERP document is one ASN advance ship notification. In our case, we are using advance ship notification. That's what that is updated as a reference document here. This one. Okay. This thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, Please mute yourself, sir. Some background noise is coming. Yeah. Okay. Now, after this document, what will happen in the EWM system? After this document, what will happen within the EWM system? For that, go to sec double click on here it will open yes go to document flow go to document flow this is our inbound delivery notification it is creating a other document inbound delivery with the name 17531 what is this okay say come to top here one inbound delivery is there one inbound delivery is there that is the next document of the inbound delivery notification this inbound delivery notification is the image copy of image copy of uh, ECC system with reference to further we need to initiate our internal processes internal processes the first document is inbound delivery after inbound delivery notification inbound delivery is the next subsequent document okay this thing now before going to that say for example we target this say for example one is there this inbound delivery notification i don't want to process this inbound delivery notification but it is not allowing us it is not allowing us to change it or delete it delete option also not available then what should i do okay here one flag is there reject if we click on it say this is not happening why because subsequent document is uh, created that's why it is not rejecting okay automation is their flow flow okay during the ppf action discussion i stop automatic inbound delivery creation within the ewm system then at that time what will happen uh, at the time i will show you what will happen after rejecting it why because here inbound delivery is created for this one that is the reason this is not allowing us one sec this is not allowing us to reject it if i reject anything if i reject anything the inbound delivery quantity should be updated with zero zero okay if i reject it but in our current setting within the system, rejection is not allowing. Why? Because inbound delivery is created automatically. Inbound delivery is created automatically. Now, what is the subsequent document of our inbound delivery notification? Inbound delivery. As for the document flow. See here. Where we can see. From this transaction itself, if we click on this inbound delivery, that will appear. This one. This is our inbound delivery notification. Now that is, this is grayed out, and this is reflecting here. Here, this is the inbound delivery. This is the inbound delivery. Now go to the header. If you see here, document category is a PDI. Earlier case, IDR. Now document type is INB. That is next subsequent document. Come to item type. Here. DLV, IDLV is the item type, item category and item type common they are using, DLV and IDLV, okay. Here also lot of tabs are there, for these documents also we have the different different profiles, custom profiles, customer profiles like reference documents and etc, etc. If you see here, here reference documents, for this document these are coming ero erp idr pdo but coming to the inbound delivery notification we have only asn remaining all are appearing here see here this profiles that inbuilt hard coded is there according to the document categories 
again is that system profiles okay see here now coming to here our idr inb is converted into inb pdi inb what is the reason coming back to inbound delivery notification if you see here one tab is there calling ppf actions post processing framework post processing frameworks some framework is designed within the awm system with the reference of that framework okay one action is triggered and that is successfully processed that's why one inbound delivery is created maybe very soon we are going to discuss this ppf action okay and we can stop this ppf action uh, to do not create the inbound delivery automatically that is also possible we will discuss and uh, demonstrate that time okay now coming to the inbound delivery our idr pd idr inv turning as a pdi inv where this setup is available come to img setup extended warehouse management goods received process inbound delivery define document type determination for inbound delivery process before going to that that document type we can check define document for inbound delivery process inb pda earlier we have checked this one not this inb pdy this one for this number range is 0 1 here where you can find out this number range okay this one number range is 0 1 please do not change anything standard setup okay that may globally affect these are not warehouse dependent setup okay if you are confident and if you can able to retain the existing one you can do not a problem but uh, at initial days uh, it's not possible okay some sometimes uh, some uh, asset condition violated errors will come okay if anybody is not able to rectify that all some whoever the users are there within the system all uh, all the inbound deliveries of uh, theirs cannot be processed within the ewm okay now come to the cross processing settings delivery and warehouse request under the cross processing settings number ranges here under the number ranges define define number range interval for inbound to deliveries and outbound to delivery orders okay leave this outbound delivery orders for some time coming to inbound to deliveries come to here intervals some 0 1 is maintained with some i think after processing somebody changed this 3 1 series but current number range that is continuing see here somebody changed okay somebody is changed this but that may not affect something in tables still it is continuing with 17 series only if we see here our document is 17531 17 series only we are having here number ranges okay and I leave this okay this number ranges and don't touch anything somebody is unnecessary 31 series they have kept okay instead of practicing some in the uh, database tables this series only there that's why we are getting that number ranges okay this thing now come to here it is showing a red symbol how do i identify the error see here one checkbox is the check button is there for checking the consistency of document click here okay some error is coming storage being gr zone does not exist in warehouse okay this thing leave this again is these errors this is coming storage gr zone gr zone two line items are there for two line items this is coming 
gr zone okay that we can discuss tomorrow this error we will rectify tomorrow okay now say here i want to short close i want to short close this inbound delivery zero quantity how it will possible how it is possible see here come to change mode open the form view and here one is there process codes reference documents additional quantities okay yeah sorry here process codes here process codes are there now this value is one click on this with quantity adjustment with quantity adjustment i am changing this go to here process code here io0 to adjust document and quantity and io01 delivery difference and adjust document what is the difference between two is say here one is only for the adjust document means uh, i want to go with partial quantities multiple documents this can useful and adjust document and quantity means do not create any uh, partial and only adjust the document okay this thing and one more is reject inbound delivery this i am doing now reject inbound delivery and here quantity is i am giving minus one zero this one is zero i am saving it inbound delivery was changed now coming to our inbound delivery our inbound delivery in ewm one is zero quantity one is one quantity now come to inbound delivery notification anything is happened still it is one why because this is save replica we cannot change in the delete okay now we can go to the ecc and we can check vl 33m it is not updated here okay any q blocks are happened we can check which one 878 nothing it is updated okay one i think some ppf actions are not processed we can check yes mq1 outbound queue here nothing is there and come to inbound document again we can check still open it should be one sec <clears throat> loading and this thing come to processing okay here nothing is there come to our not here yeah our inbound delivery notification It just we reject but it is not rejecting okay uh, we have one more document is there i am updating that instead of rejecting for this 
I am doing some adjustment here. Go to here. Process codes. Adjust with quantity adjustment and adjust delivery quantity. No, not this. First one only we can use. Process codes with quantity adjustment. Delivery difference adjust the document and the quantity. Adjust the document and quantity here. I am giving minus one. It is updating zero. Okay. Now come to here. Uh, inbound delivery notification cannot be updated. Why? Because that is copied from ECC system copied from EC system now we can come to ECC either this process code is uh, working or not see here this is working this process code is working okay the rejection is not happening here something problem is there within the system I think okay see, sir, see, I yeah, hear one question sir here yeah please yeah once we have done zero so yeah. what is the next uh, um, document we will create because we have adjusted here yeah let's take example material to five quantity will be there in uh, actual quantity so we have adjusted here okay so how to proceed with this document again no, this is zero. Next, come to purchase order and you can create new inbound delivery. So here only we we will uh, uh, adjust only document uh, number uh, document type level only like document yes. number level. So yes, is there yes, any yes. configuration for partial quantity processing? No, like no, we no. have yeah. storage. Yes, type yes, level. yes, yes, yes. For partial quantity, I, I will show you. This is zero, right? We go with one more here what is the quantity of here only one instead of that we require some high quantity only one we come with one a new inbound delivery vl 31 n one sec go to reference documents yeah this one two three eight three process codes some eight quantity I am bringing ensure it that is distributed to WMS 971 come to 971 Think manually we need to power process from this one SMQ to nothing is there here nine seventy one SMQ one come to EWM system. Here SMQ2 we can check. Somebody is uh, disturbing the system, sir. We are trying to get uh, new systems from other vendor. Okay. Not this. Ours comes under save replica. This not required for us okay with this setup this also ours stopped 10 8 this is ours
No. This is somebody's error. No logical system maintained for party and title to is supposed to. Okay, here one error is coming. With that, all uh, setup is not correct, sir, is in this system. That person is not able to do NIPL CUS. This is the problem. Somebody's. With that region, this one. Next hours will come. Yes. Now it is coming with eight quantity. Now eight quantity, but this is the inbound delivery. Unfortunately, the vendor is sent as only five quantities, only five quantities. Okay, and he said that he is not able to uh, dispatch other three. Then what should I do? Just simply we can adjust the document. That is one case. Another case is he will send three quantities later that is one case the first case we can see go to process codes with quantity adjustment see here this one i02 okay i002 delivery uh, difference and adjust document and quantity also and this one is delivery difference just adjust the document these are there okay if i go with this is the partial quantities means another we need to prepare a second inbound delivery first i will show you here go to here minus three this is updating and save it now come back here. If you see inbound delivery, I think uh, some PPF action is not triggering. It should create one more inbound delivery here. One more, one more inbound delivery here. It will create for the partial quantities. Now five is there. Come to ECC. We can check that. Come to 971. Yeah. This is not updating here. So here some problem is there in PPF actions. One sec. Any Q black is happened for this. We can check again. Q black. Nothing is there. Some system. Some. Okay. 
against this we should have two inbound deliveries if the system is correct okay one is five another one is three somewhere some problem is there okay i will check later on either it is possible or not we can check that within the system okay say for example now five quantity is there i want to adjust to i want to adjust to three and vendor said that remaining two he cannot supply then what we can do i double zero two minus three i am using it is two updating now save it now come to ecc please note that here nothing will happen for inbound delivery notification nothing will happen that is save replica see here now slow adjust oh, okay now after five i deduct the three here it is updated eight minus three instead uh, that one okay this one uh, here some discrepancy is there in the process codes i will explain you later on so these process codes okay like we can work with this inbound delivery notification and inbound delivery we further process in tomorrow class okay thank you thank you for attending session have a nice day thank you sir yeah.